Welcome back to this series on connecting Laravel to Angular 2 or Vue.js. We already achieved a lot. We set up the back end and we generally also started setting up the Angular 2 front end. But now we're stuck. We're getting an error when trying to get all quotes that we somehow are not allowed to access this because no access control allow origin header is present. Now this is called course or this is an issue connected to course and course stands for cross origin resource sharing. I already explained this in the last video of this series. You're generally not allowed to have a different front end and back end server, different domains talking to each other. And here we're serving Angular 2 from localhost 4200 and we try to reach out to this domain. So we do have two different domains. Oftentimes it's kind of fishy if some other service tries to access your service, therefore it's denied by default. But for APIs, which are kind of common today, we build a lot of backends which can connect to all kinds of frontends, mobile apps, web apps, and so on. And nowadays, this is something we want to enable on our backends, or at least at the API backends we're building specifically for that purpose. And we can enable this access. We can kind of turn off that protection because we want to turn it off. And we have to turn it off on our backend. So we're leaving Angular 2 now and we'll go back to our Laravel application. The application we built a few videos ago. Here we got our routes and now we want to make sure that we're able to target these routes from a different domain. To do so, I will create a new middleware. You can create a new middleware for Laravel with the artition command line tool. So in the Laravel folder here, I'll run PHP artition, make middleware, and I'll name it course because it's connected to this cross origin resource sharing problem we're having. In the application, we now got this course PHP file in the middleware folder in the app HTTP folder. This is almost empty. It only has this handle method. Now middleware is basically some or are some functions which are run on all requests and responses reaching Laravel. And we can decide if we want to work with the request or the response. I will show you how both works. So this is the middleware created and now this will not be used. We have to tell Laravel to use this middleware. We do so in the kernel PHP file. And here we can hook up our own middleware. And now you could think that we add our own middleware to the API middleware group here because it makes sense. We're having a couple of API routes in the API PHP file here in the routes folder. And as I explained in earlier video in this series, the middlewares set up here in the API group are applied to all routes in the API folder. This would be the right way of thinking about it, but when sending requests from our client from Angular 2 to the server, and when those requests are not get requests, but post, put, and so on, there actually will be an extra options request sent before that. That's just some feature of your browser, you could say. That's the default behavior. If you send a post request, your browser will automatically send an options request first. Options kind of tries to find out which options do I have? Are, am I allowed to send a post request here? And of course you are allowed, but your browser doesn't know that. And to tackle this extra, extra options request, which we can't stop from being created, I actually will add my middleware not here in the route group, but actually here in the middleware array, which basically just means the middlewares set up in this array are applied to all requests, not just the requests reaching out to my API, middleware group and actually it doesn't even matter because this level application will only serve as a backend anyways and there's nothing wrong with applying our course middleware to all requests.
Now, as a side note, you can also download some third-party packages, which make it very easy for you to really fine-tune which routes should add those course headers and which routes should not. Here, I will show you the general easy approach. So, enough of the talking. Let's add our course middleware here in the middleware array in the kernel PHP file. And the middleware lives in the app HTTP middleware namespace and here in the course file. And we need to access the class. So pass this course class as an element in this array. With that, now this handle method will be executed on each request entering our application. And we get two arguments here, the request and a closure called next. Next is executed here and it gets the request as an argument. And this simply means let the request continue its journey. If we don't call next, we will actually stop the request and our application will therefore break because the request doesn't reach the route it should reach. Now, if we want to change that request, we can do that before returning next request here. So we could set any header here, but I don't want to set a header on my request. I want to add some headers on the response and we do this by adding them on the result of this next call, which will actually be our response. Here I can access the header method, which is a method Laravel knows, which allows me to add some headers. And here we need to add three headers. One header is actually listed here in the browser, access control origin. This header is missing is the error message. So let's simply copy it. Add it here as the first argument to the header method as a string. And the second argument is the value. And with star, I'm simply telling the application any client, any other domain may access, well, my routes. And you could, of course, also instead be very specific about which domain or domains should be able to access your routes. But here, every domain is allowed. I need another header, though. So header another header method chained. And this is called access control allow. So with this start of your header, you pretty much recognize that it is connected to the course problem. Access control allow methods. So with methods, which methods are allowed to be sent or which HTTP methods may we use? Well, I want to allow get, post, push, patch, delete and very important options because this is this extra request I was talking about this extra request which is generated and sent and of course you can also limit that to the methods you need and then I'll add a third header here access control allow headers which headers may the request which the client sends hold and I want to allow the content type and you could also allow an authorization header and much more. Now with this setup here, if I save this, the middleware is set up, it is added in the kernel file. Let's try getting the quotes in our fronted application again. Here you see some quote. Now it's fetched successfully because now we're allowing the access and we're allowing our Angular 2 application to access our backend, even though we're having different domains here. Now in the next video, I will finish this Angular 2 application and enable it to also add and edit and delete quotes before we then continue to Vue.js. See you there. Bye.